having trouble? Well, we might have a few answers for you. We're gonna do a little breakdown on how to troubleshoot what's going on with your T3S tank and your Ego battery and for items that work in a similar fashion. So before you start troubleshooting, you wanna make sure that you have one of two things, either a pair of tweezers, <laughs> you don't have any, check your wife's eyeglass case. She probably has some for tweezing her eyebrows. With that being said, you're gonna need tweezers or some needle nose pliers, something that's gonna allow you to actually grab and pull and tug to kind of resolve your issue. If you're having leaking issues, the first thing that you wanna do is check the wick that is sitting in your coil. If your wicking is disheveled and off to one side, that's not going to allow for even flow. The purpose of the silica wicking in these coils is actually to make sure that you have a, a consistent amount of liquid going to the coil to be vaporized. Um, technique often is an issue. Long, slow drag leads to happy tanks. Short, powerful drags leads to pulling in too much liquid, which actually floods inside the base and leaks through. And when I say leak through, there's actually a little hole there, right? So when that fluid overfills inside of the coil, it has nowhere to go but down. Down leads to juice on the top of your battery. So when you take that drag and you hear the gurgling noise, what's happening is the fluid has leaked through your base and coil and pulled on the top of your battery. You hit the button, that juice then gets hot. Then you take a nice heavy drag and that hot juice ends up in your mouth. Not fun. We want to try to avoid that. So here's a solution. Again, checking the wicks, making sure that everything is where it's supposed to be. Um, don't be afraid to tool around with these things. Other things that may lead to leaking. On each base, there are rubber gaskets. Many times people go into to the tank and try to refill it and accidentally knock off the gasket, see it on the carpet two days later, wonder where that little rubber gasket came from. It came from your tank. Hopefully you didn't suck it up in the vacuum cleaner because it actually serves a purpose. Another thing that helps to prevent leaking is making sure that our equipment is actually put together the appropriate way. The only thing in this system that actually has to be tight is when you put your coil into your base. If you notice, now there are three gaskets. There's a bunch of different opinions on the gaskets on the T3S coils as to the importance of those gaskets and how effective or in some opinions ineffective they are. My suggestion would be make sure that all three of your gaskets are there. The manufacturer sends them out for, with intact like that for a reason. Um, and again, it's to help to make sure that the juice does not leak. So your juice is filled into the reservoir. There's a metal sim in the middle there. Basically, you want to rest the tip of the bottle or your dripper on the inside, filling around that stem. There's actually a gradient on the side with measurements showing you the volume or the capacity of the tank. Helps if I actually hold it up the right way. So this is a three mil tank. That's the max amount of juice that you could actually fit into here. When you fill this style tank, this portion actually is a part of the reservoir. It actually compensates for the space that you see at the top of the metal stem inside of the tank there. Once filled, you want the stem from the coil to go inside of the tank. Now, once you've done everything and your gaskets are in place and nothing is leaking and everything's okay, and then you go to screw it onto your battery, and you hit the button, and when they did it in the store, everything worked just fine. But when you did it now, you get nothing. Before you think that you have broken something, you may want to check one of two things. You can actually see the stem from the coil inside of the base. If I'm not making a connection with the stem from the bottom of the coil and the lead on the top of the battery, no voltage is being supplied. You know that you have some voltage being supplied to your coil when you hit that little crackling action. Not the gurgling, the gurgling is pulling of juice. Crackling is what we wanna hear. So if I'm getting nothing, first thing I wanna do is actually pull my stem. 
Again, pair of tweezers, pliers, whatever you have readily available. Slightly pulling that stem up will actually serve to make a connection with the top of the Ego battery or similar style batteries. Now I know I have a connection. Now unfortunately there's no juice in here so I don't want to hit this button and singe that coil. But I actually felt the connection and this is not on there super tight. There's a little bit of play here. Everything in this system, once you want to have light bulb type, with the exception of when you actually put the coil into the base. And I know what some of you are thinking, well, if the coil actually comes apart, why do I need to have little tools in order to fix my tank? The reason being is once you have the tank and juice is filled on that tank and your coil is saturated with that juice, you don't want to necessarily have to take the coil out to actually be able to make an adjustment. So again, a pair of needle nose pliers, um, a pair of tweezers, something that would allow you to reach down in there and just slightly pull that down. So this pin actually comes out. There is a silica gasket in the base as well. It serves as an insulator between the two wires because of course you have to have a negative and a positive. So there's one wire on the inside of that silica, I'm sorry, silicone, and one on the outside of it. One's making connection with the metal on the inside of the tank. The other is making connection with this pin. There's a positive and negative closing the circuit, which actually allows for vaporization to occur. We'll actually break this down even further when we get into our video on how to wrap your own coils for a T3S. And there are plenty of existing tutorials out there showing you how to do such things already, but we'll bring them to our customer base because it's been a request. So with that being said, thanks for looking at us. Come in, check us out. See us online.